So hi everybody and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 5 tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 126 and in this video I want to talk about um, um, creating uh, holes or let's say creating uh, caves and something like that. And one way is you use a third party software and model a hole, a cave or whatever in this uh, third party software i use uh, right now i try to learn blender for example and blender is a free tool and i try to use that one and then i found out there is a problem for example i created um, a static mesh which is a uh, let's say something like a hole or like a cave and the problem is the collision when i import it here I can't make collision in holes. Anyhow, the collision system is not working. And then I searched online and all said, no, that's not possible anyhow in Unreal Engine, but that's not true. And I want to show you a way how we still can make collision in holes or something like that. For this reason, I imported from Blender a pipe, which is pre-made. You can have, so there is a pipe system in Blender. I just imported one pipe here and let's scale this pipe here. And I will demonstrate this one here with the pipe. A pipe is very powerful, by the way, for creating levels because you can make easy a whole system and then create nice levels with that. I will show you this one here. So you have here a pipe, for example, instead of using it as a pipe, you can make it so big and make a yeah like a system you know what i mean let me show you that <laughs> i think you don't know what i mean you can make it for example super super big like i did right now and then let's make here a little bit faster and what you can do is use the real big pipe as a as a template for your level so you see my my pipe is now my template of course i must adjust it so that as that fits here in the right side and oh, let's see yeah i can't adjust it of course yeah let's make it a little bit slower now you see i'm going to adjust this one here and make a nice level here when i start this for example here just for demonstration here now i created here something like a cave and then of course i can make even a level with that and so on so you get the idea so pipes are very powerful to create something very fast easy without too much modeling and a nice level and then i can make your ways here i walk this way and walk this other way just by connecting pipes and build my level around it here's my ceiling and all this kind of stuff so but the problem is with this pipes like i said they have no collisions so let me show you what i mean with that uh, let's get a pipe here again, the little one. I start here, this one again. Where is that? Here, or oh, it's much far away. Let's put this here a little bit closer. Here. Start. So here is the pipe. And by default, it has no collision. And what we do when a pipe has no collision, normally we would go to open up this static mesh, which means... Oh, let me place this here. So normally I would go and open up the static mesh. Let's go here, double click on it. And then here's the pipe. I go here to the collision tab and then I can create collision, right? So let's create here. First of all, let's create this simplified collision. And you can see already this simplified collision is not working because if I add the simplified collision, I'm not able to run into the pipe. Let's test it. I add, I start, and now I can't go in. Problem one. The second thing is, you can see, of course, you can say use the other collisions. Let's remove this one and use a little bit more complex one. Let's see here. Well, is there anything? Simplified collision. Ah, let's create here one. That's also possible. Here I created one and if you see now the gr uh, green lines you see that's also not working if i use the pipe all the screen lines will block me 
So anyhow, I can't create a uh, create anyhow with this options uh, uh, collision. Uh, perhaps there is a way here, but I don't find it. So, but there is a way to create collisions with holes or with pipes or whatever. And the way is you go here to the details panel. Instead of using this option here, collision, you are going here to the collision section, collision. And now you really have to set collision complexity to use, comp um, use complex collision as simple. And now you see this collision lines and they are exactly on the surface of the static mesh. I don't know why they may not hear an option here in the collision section for this one, but this one is exactly that what we need for a collision. And when we save this, now our pipe has a collision and we can use it. You see, I collide, I can't go through anymore. And we can build a tunnel system or any system with this pipes, very powerful, nice thing. I like it as a starter, very helpful. If you want to create something like a tunnel system, just so. Then the next thing what I wanted to show is, of course, you don't have to use a third party software now. I mean, Blender is very nice and good if you know it, but we can also go here to the modeling tool. Here's a modeling tool and you can try to create a hole or a, a pipe or whatever yourself. But then, of course, you need a little bit modeling skills, which means you should know how to use this um, tools here and train it. I'm not really much trained it, but I managed to create at least one. For example, you can take, there are different ways uh, to make one. I found one way is, for example, you take just the cylinder here, then you are complete it. And then what you are doing is just make a hole in it after you scaled it up. Oops, that was uh, other way around. Let's uh, put this here this way. Scale this a little bit up like you want. Let's say I want make here a hole in this direction. And I go here in and yes, and now I need a hole. And yeah, there are different ways. One way is probably you go here to this. Where is that? Uh, cut. We can cut through anyhow. And uh, poly cut. Here is a poly cut. Uh, I think it's this one. I hope it's this one. And then you can define this cut here. For example, you can make here radius, something like that. No, this is the scale. It's a circle. Yes, I need a circle because I want this one, but I want the other direction. That's why I rotate this one. So you can see when I rotate already, I make a hole in it, right? So I can make even a hole downwards. That's nice. So I go here, perhaps anyhow down. Ah, let's make a downwards thing. Yeah, why not? And we go out here in below this thing here. That's nice. Let's do this one. And you see, you can make this one here too. And then you can set here some more settings with, if you want it uh, very much higher. I don't, I'm, I like this one and yeah, and the nice thing about this one here, when I check later here, this collision, this one is also set to this complex one. So this is probably the way to go for holes in, uh, by default for complex, this collisions with holes. And yeah, let's test this one if I can go through this one here. So let's see. And now I can walk here. Oh, and then I fall through, of course. <laughs> but of course, you'll see what I mean. Uh, this one has also automatically collisions and you can make here your own holes very easy now. That was, I think that was a little bit difficult in Unreal Engine 4 to make holes and all this kind of stuff. Now you can make this here in the engine. That's very nice, very powerful. And yeah, very cool. So I think that, I hope that helped. Uh, some players, uh, some players, sorry, I mean some developers here and that can be useful definitely for designer to notice because 
if they try to create a collision themselves can take much more time and this way it's much easier faster yeah I think you get the idea what I want to tell you and with that said I stop this video if you have any questions or any complaints or any suggestions tips and tricks for example for this modeling tool or for this uh, collision perhaps there is another better way to create collision which I don't know for example here is a trick uh, then write this kind of stuff all in the comments uh, can help me and can help all other too and with that said bye and good luck